Welcome back, one and all, to D&D Tactics. We are proceeding to Jor Helling, the next area here in the prologue. Jor Helling is a temple. Famed for its temple, this shrine to an ancient Vinsaxi saint attracts many devotees. Clerics and paladins may be recruited here, and the dead may be resurrected. Jor Helling has a temple in which you can buy clerical magic, mostly scrolls of spells, but also they have a few nifty magic items that will definitely be coming back for later on. Right now, they are far too expensive. Let's take a look at the adventure. The Crypt. The remaining goblin raiders are hiding in a temple crypt. Whoever ends the goblin menace would gain great honor for a maximum of four adventurers. I was supposed to two we had last time, so we got a Voilock and three companions. Let's bring along Serena, Let's bring along Kaori, and we got one more. Had Rain follow me last time, so now let's bring along a different character. How about Zerak? All right, we are descending down into the crypt here. So, Warlock will be in front. We'll have Kaori also in front. Serena and Zerak. Everyone, ready their weapons. The rest of the Goblin Brigand Band is down here. If we succeed at clearing them out, Sir Broyan will admit us to the Vinzaxi court. Someone light a torch. I fight best when it's bright. Actually, that'll be you, I think. Oh, it does replace your bow, though. I suppose bow is two-handed. That's why you have one last time. Alright, uh, Serena... Let's have Serena do some magic, actually. Uh, let's give Kaori some light. So light spell can be cast on a character, and that character will now be a, basically a mobile torch. That's also not need to actually carry one. Okay, we'll move Kaori up to the... Oh. The treasure we came for must be hidden behind that door. Once you finish with these goblins, we'll grab their loot. I don't see any goblins yet. Let's move Serena up. And how about another spell here? Uh, actually, let's get uh, Zarek up here first. We'll swap out that torch for a bow. Oh, he moved. Full action. Never mind. Uh, okay, so Serena, how about some blessings for the party? So bless gives you a plus one to attack bonuses and saving throws versus fear. I'm not worried about any kind of kind of any kind of fear effects right now, but the plus one to hit, pretty good. All right, is there anyone out there? What's this area look like anyway? Oh, it's really dark out there. So there's a chest here, big old door, there's a chest here, dark and spooky, alright. We're locked, let's move up. Oh, we found goblins! Alright, Zerak, you're up, we need to swap out your torch for a short bow, equip! Goblin drinks a potion! Strength up, maybe? Potion of bull strength? All right, I'm gonna have Kyori cover the right. Warlock, you go for the left. And attack, ooh, got a good chance to hit there. What a power attack. Even odds, let's try it. Oh, and he misses. Gamble and lost. Kyori moves on up. And a swing and a miss. Warlock gets smited for three, and there's a shaman up there who's a spellcaster casting magic missile. All right, Serena, who can I have you take a shot at? You got low chance to hit pretty much everyone. Well, you've got a good chance to get to the shaman, sure, shaman. So the reason why, by the way, the reason why she, she has a 
harder chance to hit this goblin, even though its AC is lower, because he's actually in melee with Roylock. Firing into melee with a friend nearby makes uh, the attack roll much more difficult. Ooh, she nails the Shaman for four. Alright, let's move Zerak up. And Zerak, can you fire off a shot here? And a miss on the goblin. Okay, two goblins get to go here. Uh, we have an archer going for Kiori, who misses. And the bull strength goblin also misses. Good job. Okay, Roylock, can you power attack this one again? Nice! Roylock nails him for nine. I'm going to have him move up and try to get close to that shaman up there. Or shaman. What was pronounced? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Kiori. And a miss. Uh, so, let's see here. Zerak took a hit for four. I'm going to have her move up, and we're going to do some magic casting. Four virtue for one hit point. Shimon throws another magic missile and hits Serena for four damage. I wonder if I can move behind him. Let's scoot on up. I can hit zero targets. All right. There we go. Okay, goblins get to go. Oh, he's swapped out for a club. Is he moving on for a Zerak? Probably. Oh, Kara takes a hit for four. All right, Roylock, can you smash this guy? Do it. No, it's a miss. And ending turn. Kiori. Come on, hit this guy. That's another miss. All right, Serena. Well, let's see here. Let's have you move up and assist Kaori she, since she just got hit. Do a clerical cure. We're going to use one of our. So clerics have the ability called clerical cure that allows them to swap out any one of their spells for a basic healing spell of that level. I'm going to move out uh, divine favor in favor of a cure spell. We're going to heal Kaori here a little bit. Heals for six. Nice. Oh. That was an acid splash. Okay, Zerak, can you backstab this guy with a bow? No, you cannot. Yeah, I thought so. Nice dodge, Zerak. Kara takes another shot for three. Warlock, hit him! And Warlock smashes the Shaman for 12. Nice shot. Move up, and let's base this goblin up here. Curry hits her goblin for 8. Nice hit. Uh, Serena, let's see here. What can you do right now? Oh, this is still Kiori's turn. Ending turn. Serena, okay. Any more magic I can cast? I can do Shield of Faith for some additional armor class. Let's do that. Kiori's AC plus two. Okay, we're going to swap out your bow for a rapier. And Relic blocks the shot. Yay! All right, Shield of Faith for the win. Okay, Warlock. Can you hit him? Yes, you can for some minor damage. Eight damage, not necessarily minor. Oh. 
All right, Carrie takes him out. Let's move you up to the treasure chest up here. Serena moves up as well, and we'll reload her crossbow. All right, I'm gonna have you just a five foot step over here for flanking position and strike. Zarek earns his keep with a backstab for 18 damage with a critical back backstab. Beautiful. Nice shot, Zarek. Okay, let's see what's in that chest. Uh, <laughs> three gold. And inside we have a composite longbow, a, a silver arrows, master Felchin. Uh potions of cure serious and cure light. Uh, Carrie, just, just pick it up. Pick it all up. Got a door up ahead. I actually wouldn't mind having a having a, a mask here right now. Um, guidance is plus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks. Lasts for one round. She is all out of, she is all out of magic. Otherwise, let's have Royalock move up and get ready by the door. I uh, can't move through the treasure chest. There we are. So I have to move you up. And Serena, let's move you up and then we'll open the door here on the next round. All right, let's do it. There's a goblin inside. Kaori rushes the goblin. Actually, can she actually charge? I think she can. Uh, special move here we go so charging allows you to basically double move up to an enemy and hit them really hard you got a plus two to your hit but a minus two to your ac until the next turn but she has ac of 18 i'm not worried about her taking another hit really so she charges up and uh, misses well that was a nice nice try serena uh can you maybe hit Nope, she misses. Goblin gets to go. And misses Kiori. I've got to have that shield of faith up. Can I... Can you... Tumble? Whoop. Nice. That's why tumbling rocks. Uh, 30 gold to the party. Kiori smacks him and takes him out. And what is... Ooh, a ring of protection plus one. Our first magic item of the campaign. Heck yes, I am I am taking that. We've dealt with those thieves once and for all. Let's go to Est Mandal and collect our reward from the Vinsaxi clan. All right, there we go. End of the adventure. Went by pretty smoothly. Zero character deaths. Five monsters killed. Two chests opened. Although it felt like more. And otherwise, a good, easy adventure. The last of the prologue adventures. So we got some gear from that. And Warlock got a level up. All right, so party management... Kaori, you picked up some cool stuff. What did you get? Okay, so that's a longbow. That's going right to Rain's hands. Absolutely. All of the bows. And hit that arrow here, too. Should probably keep the potion of bull strength and the potion of cure Sears and cure light. It will take a lot of damage. Uh, I don't really want that falchion. I'm going to sell it. All right, and now someone else got a cool magic item. Namely, uh, we have Zarak, who picked up a Ring of Protection. That's actually going to go to Faltore with his mighty AC of 12. Ring of Protection gives you plus one to AC. At the cost of zero weight, it doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't count as armor. 
Rings of protection are really cool things. So, there you go. Faltori equips his ring of protection, and now it's AC 13. Alright, and let's give Rain the composite longbow, and we can sell this short bow. She now has a really good weapon for her. Alright, and I think that is where we will stop here. As we complete the second episode of the prologue. The next episode, we will dive into the campaign proper, the first act, and Est Mandal. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all then.